What's up guys, Matt Monas here, and in my hands I have the Moto X Play. Now I've been playing with this phone for the past five days, and I have to admit it's a pretty sweet smartphone. Now I am working on a full review that's going to talk about the good and the bad, but instead of making you guys wait that long time, I thought I'd give you guys the highlights of this phone so far. So without wasting any more time, here are five reasons why you should buy the Moto X Play. The first reason is the display, and the Moto X Play is rocking a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display. And you're probably wondering why I'm mentioning a 1080p display as a reason to buy. Well if you compare it to the Moto G and Moto E displays, and even the AMOLED panel on the 2014 Moto X, it's a big improvement. For a mid-range display it does the job really well by making text look sharp, providing great viewing angles and brightness. But what makes the display unique over other mid-range offerings is the thin bezels, allowing you to easily hold the device. Next up is stock Android, or at least almost stock Android. Motorola continues to leave the software the way Google intended it to be, by leaving the phone clean of bloatware, useless gimmicks, and settings that most people won't use. You're left with a very fast and fluid smartphone. Don't get me wrong, Motorola has added a few tweaks of their own, such as glances to see notifications on your lock screen, Moto Voice, and a gesture to quickly open the camera. These features are all optional and can be easily disabled. And by finally offering an almost stock-like experience means they can also get software updates out faster. So what happens when you combine a 1080p display, a very efficient Snapdragon 615 processor, and a massive 3630 mAh battery? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. You get some insane battery life. And that's exactly what makes this phone so attractive. You can easily get two days of use before having to charge. To make matters more enticing, it also includes quick charging in case you ever need to top up your battery in a short period of time. Fourth up is the camera. It's not better than the G4 or GS6, but it sure beats out the OnePlus 2. I was really surprised on how good the photos are, and this might be the first phone in the mid-range category to have an awesome camera. Pretty impressive for a phone that's half the cost of most high-end devices. Here are some sample photos. The fifth and final reason is external storage. The phone comes with either 16GB or 32GB of internal storage, but it does include a micro SD card slot, which seems to be a rare feature these days. It supports up to 128GB, perfect for those who carry their music everywhere they go. So what do you guys think of the Moto X Play so far? I have to admit it does have some impressive features such as an awesome camera and great battery life. Now I am going to be doing a full review on this product where I'll talk about the good and the bad and I'll answer the most important question on whether or not this product is worth the purchase. So anyways, I just want to thank TELUS for sending out this device. If you haven't heard of TELUS, they're one of Canada's biggest wireless carriers known for their awesome customer satisfaction. And they also have a great write-up on helping young individuals connect and use the internet securely and safely. I'll link that in the description down below. Thanks again guys for watching. If you, love, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next video.